Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a 3D cross borehole forward modeling with Recipe. For that, first let me show you my electrode arrays. Basically, I will have four boreholes with each 12 electrodes buried in them. I'm going to import these electrode locations in Recipe and create a mesh in between these electrodes. For that I already have prepared my electrode locations. There are 48 electrodes with 12 on each line. So I have to go in recipe and select 3D forward and the electrodes topo tab define 48 electrodes. Now bear in mind this table is just placeholder. So I am going to copy everything in here and then paste them in the correct location and now since these are cross borehole electrodes I have to select buried because they are buried in subsurface this will trigger the mesh generation to know that the cells are between these electrodes and not just underneath them now very important for 3D cross borehole inversion or forward modeling always the uppermost electrode should be selected as unburied and that is because we need a surface a top boundary to cut the mesh we don't support whole space 3d meshes yet for that you have to select the surface electrodes as non-buried and then we go to the mesh generation and we define the parameters we like. For this specific problem, these are perfect parameters. And then I'm going to create my mesh. Again, depending on the computer you're using, this may take quite a while for 3D mesh generation or can quiet, go quite fast. All right, now we have our mesh. As you can see, our electrodes are around this block of the mesh, resembling that we have boreholes at each side of this mesh inside the subsurface. Now it's time for creating an anomaly somewhere inside this space. I'm going to select region mode and then on that I'm going to select my anomaly. Something is small in the middle just to represent a block of an anomaly that can be something conductive or resistive. It's all up to you. And then I'm going to bring it in here and maybe make it even smaller. Okay. Now this is my anomaly. As you can see, it is between all of my electrodes. Now time is to select add region. Things selected. All these cells selected. I'm going to make it a conductive feature, 20 ohm meters, and then select exit mode. It's important to select exit mode because without that you will not have those points selected. And then in the form model, I'm selecting the default dipole dipole with about 1% noise and then select form model. Now here's the th deal. Recipe automatically finds the lines and based on that creates form model. These thick gray things you're seeing are the lines that Recipe already found on its own. So if your electrode array is different, always use the custom sequence. And uh, forgive this gray visualization that makes no sense. We still are working on visualization of uh, pseudo section for 3D boreholes. And then you can go right away to inversion tab and invert this. As you can see, recipe will show you 
the reduction of RMS versus saturation as well as the top view of your mesh. So this is just looking at top of your model. It is not a cross section. That's why we show it as distance over distance. Okay, the inversion is done and as you can see, we are left with this block that shows the anomaly inside it. All we have to do is to slice it. So I'm going to slice it on x-axis and y-axis and see if the anomaly has been resolved. At 0.2 meters and y equal to 0.2 meters as well and then apply 3. And as you can see the anomaly that was conductive in the region that I defined is clearly shown in here. And I can go into the post-processing and see if the inversion went ba bad. I clear out the bad points, for example this one, and then reinvert my data. Thank you for watching this video.